This is what the richest people in the world invest in, and how much they invest in each asset class. This video will cover two things. First, what these investments are exactly, and second, answer the question if the richest people's investment portfolios are good or bad. These are not the one percenters, but the 0.001 percenters, and they invest very differently from what they used to. No more sitting in fancy meeting rooms of big banks listening to an advisor on where they should place their money. Hmm. Should I place it on red or black? Today's super rich are cutting out the middleman and starting their own family offices when investing. This is a growing trend that does not seem to be stopping soon. This gives the modern day billionaires more control over what they decide to invest in, making it fascinating to understand what they think are the best bets for the future. Specifically, looking into what on average the world's 0.001% richest people place in their portfolios. In total, they invest in seven different asset class categories. The first category consists of things such as oil, corn, coffee and gold. These are commodities, meaning they are produced by many different companies and have a similar quality between the companies that sell them. The second category is letting others make high risk bets in an attempt to beat the market. These are hedge funds that often use loans and are open to investing in almost anything to reach their desired returns. The third category is the most basic and liquid savings vehicle. It is simple cash or equivalents. It is interesting how 7% is held in this asset class. The fourth category is all about earning from loans. These are bonds from governments or companies that produce recurring cash flow from interest payments. The fifth and third largest category is earnings from buildings. These are property investments where rent is received from the tenant. The sixth and second largest category is all about investing in businesses directly. This is private equity, meaning that instead of putting your money into a company where the shares are easy to trade, like Apple, Amazon or Alphabet, you buy parts or whole companies that are not on an exchange in hopes of higher returns. The seventh and largest investment the super rich place their money in are just normal plain stocks that everyone can access. This might be buying the whole market or betting on specific companies. But does this allocation perform better than the regular stock market? The answer seems to be no. So for me personally, I don't feel like the super rich have some amazing investment vehicles everyone else does not have access to.